Six years ago today, when Richard Sherman played in his first career NFC Championship game, which he helped end by tipping a Colin Kaepernick pass into the hands of his Seattle teammate, eventual Super Bowl MVP Malcolm Smith. And then Sherman truly introduced himself to the football world in his post-game, if you will, interview with our friend Aaron Andrews. Look at Aaron Andrews' face. Stanford man is a San Francisco graveyard. He liked it. The 49ers back to the Super Bowl. He prevented them from returning to, again, six years ago today. Here's Mike Silver. So are you more like a comic book villain? I'm, I'm not a villain at all. I'm a, I'm a guy who does his job at a high level and, and gives a damn what you think. <laughs> Intercepted by Richard Sherman! Your best players are playing their best right now! Hey, we're back. Why is this defense so good, and what made this dramatic transformation possible? These guys that, that have a great feel for one another and play well together, even young guys that, that do a great job of leading by example. Tom said it. We'll run him down from behind. He got beat like a drum by D. Ford. Bosa gets him again. Even Bosa. I mean, Bosa is a, is a young man, but he's a leader on this team. Obviously, Jimmy and Kittle, and the list goes on and on and on and on. It's really been a fun ride for us, for sure. Throw intercepted by Richard Sherman going back the other way. Touchdown! What was the moment when you started confronting the possibility that this team is championship caliber? Uh, probably somewhere in the middle of training camp. And I just told the, the faithful, just relax and be calm and be humble because we're going to get some wins and things are going to be special. When you've been around it and you've played in it, you understand what it looks like. When the Browns hired Kevin Stefanski over your defensive coordinator, Robert Sala, what upset you? It was just disappointing. You know, just the same reason the rest of the hires disappointed me. You know, minority candidates just don't get a get, get a fair shot at it. Because minority candidates, you have to have a crazy resume. If an owner called you and asked about Sala as a head coach, what's the first thing you'd say? I'd say he's a head coach. I'd say that's the guy you're looking for. He's incredibly detailed. He's smart. He just does an overall good job, you know, of, of playing to his player's strengths. Aaron Rodgers said he wouldn't avoid throwing at you. What are your thoughts? I, I wouldn't expect him to. I, guess. <laughs> I mean, this is a football game. No, but he's, he's one of the most brilliant players to play. You know, that's why it's always a chess match when you play great quarterbacks. He looks, he lost. Left side, Devontae. He's got a touchdown on an over-the-shoulder grab. Devontae Adams, tell us about playing him. Great route runner, great set of hands. You know, he's one of the most consistent playmakers A Rod has ever had and uses him well. And I know he's got a great release, so is that kind of your plan? Like, let him do his thing early and try to. Well, I got a few, a few things to mix up in there. Yeah, I mean, you'll have to wait and see. What would another shot at a Super Bowl ring mean to you? No, that's why you play the game. You know, it means everything. You never know when you're going to get there. Some guys go their whole careers and not even playing in the playoff game. You know, so to be in three NFC championships in nine years is, is pretty cool. At the end of the day, I, I won a Super Bowl, and I, I don't give a damn who goes through.